More than two years ago, a judge outlawed electronic bingo in Walker County. Since then, the sheriff claims they've shut down nearly a dozen gambling operations. Then a couple of weeks ago, we received a gambling hall tip of our own. So we drove to Walker County and walked in with a camera rolling. From old Birmingham Highway near Oakman, you can't see much, but we were told there was an electronic gaming hall in the back of this building. So we drove back there, got out, and opened the door. We found a room full of gaming machines, but not a lot of information about the operation. I'm with, I'm John Papke with Channel 13. Okay. With Channel 13. Yeah. Do I talk to you or? Uh -huh. Okay. What is it about? We're just trying to find out how long y'all been open and that kind of thing. Mm, no, I'm not giving you no information. Uh, okay. No, because I'll get us busted. The woman and I walked outside. She called somebody in charge who strongly declined comment and ordered the employee not to let me inside the building. It was a drizzly December day when we stopped by this Holly Grove Road golf course. Again, from the road, everything looks ordinary. But when we drove up to the clubhouse and walked in the front door, we found these inside. More than a dozen electronic gaming machines. Um, my name is John Papke. Uh -huh. I'm with Channel 13. Was wanting to know if we could oh, talk to somebody. No, he's not here. He's not here? Nope. The guy in charge, whatever. I left my phone number with the employee, but never received a call. We showed pictures of the two operations to Walker County Sheriff John Mark Tyree. What does that look like to you? It looks like a little gambling machines, just from what I can tell. I mean, I can't see the screen screens, but gotcha. that'd be, if they're kind of in a hidden covert area, I'd say that's what they are. Tyree knows a thing or two about electronic gaming. He was part of a big electronic bingo lawsuit four years ago. Back then, dozens of major bingo operations dotted Walker County's roadways. There were six in this half-mile stretch of Highway 78 alone. Business was booming for electronic bingo halls like this one here in Walker County. In fact, experts say the county's bingo halls brought in nearly $2 billion in wagers each year. Then in October 2009, Judge Robert Vance issued this order in which he said, quote, all current bingo operations in Walker County that employ electronic player stations are therefore illegal. Most major operators shut down and skipped town, but Sheriff Tyree says gaming machines continue to surface. We have seized several since the bingo action. I've got a impound lot full. Oh, really? oh yeah, we've probably done 10 or 12. Tyree did not know about the two locations we visited. He said they will have to investigate the activity with a little out of town help. It's hard for us to do the undercover work. They certainly know who we all are, you know, face recognition and the state uh, has done quite a bit of undercover for us. But even if these places close, Sheriff Tyree would not be surprised if they reopened somewhere else. He claimed for some reason or another, his county is a popular place to plant electronic gambling. The sweepstakes, oh, that's right. the Chuck E. Cheese before that, I mean, I've been here five terms and I'm thinking, is this ever going to go away? So far, despite a court ruling and a handful of arrests, operators are still willing to take their chances. We also talked to Walker County District Attorney Bill Adair. He said he could not comment on the machines in our video and they needed proof the devices paid out money to file criminal charges. But he pointed out it is illegal to possess electronic gaming machines in Alabama. Now, if you've got an issue that needs to be uncovered, just email me at jpapke at wvtm.com. I'm John Papke with this Alabama's 13 Fact Check Report.